Hello YouTube, I'm Arnd Peter, and today I would like to share with you a little project I'm working on. So, I've been learning about um, 3D software rendering, and this is uh, what I managed to come up with. I made this wall of triangles, and the triangles are tessellated along the wall, and the wall is uh, built along a parabolic path, I guess you could say. So, I am... Um, I learned how to do this through a, a series on YouTube by The Benny Box. It's a really good series, I highly recommend it. I have learned a lot about rendering stuff in 3D. And this tutorial starts with, you know, just a, having a 2D array of pixels and then using only arrays and mathematical manipulations, you learn how to do stuff like this where you have things rotated in 3D space and all that. So it's really neat. Um, it's a fairly long series, and whenever I'm following tutorial series, especially if they're really long, I like to stop at a certain point and try and practice with it to make sure I understand everything. So that's, so that's what this is. Um, I tried to make something with it. If you're interested in how, how I made this and how it was adapted from the tutorial series, I have all the steps are on GitHub, so you can actually on GitHub, you can see all the commits I did and see all the um, uh, all the changes I made along the way. I I had planned for this to be, be very different, but it turned out to look nice this way, and you can kind of see how it progressed on on the GitHub page. So yeah, there'll, there'll be links to the tutorial series as well as my GitHub uh, repository in the description. Um, and for us the video, I'll t I'll just tell you more about what I have here. So this, all these triangles are represented in the triangle board class, and there's a number of parameters I have to control it. These first two are the width and height, and these two represent the the width of the triangles, or sorry, the, the side length of the triangles, and this one is the gap between the triangles. So I can take these this wall, I can make them, let's see, the triangles five, a fifth the size and make the gaps also much smaller, then I can rerun it and there we go another thing that I'm pretty proud of is uh, got, got it animating which I learned how to animate or rotate things I suppose in the YouTube series but it was always around the center and I had to do some do a tr trick to get to rot rotate them around wherever they are yeah so yeah they're rotating around their own axis Previously, they'll rotate around where the center is. So now I have them rotating. Anyway, um, this is what I've been working on lately. Um, please check out the YouTube series. It's a very good series. Uh, and I hope to see what you guys make with it. Other than that, um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.